put two machines out front with these two inch lines to the north. We're gonna have two machines tethered to the back just to make sure we can slow it down if you can, uh, to move it real slowly and get it into position. They're uncertain whether the push-pull system will work. The machines might not have enough power to get the tower moving. The demolition team has recruited four 1,500 horsepower excavators to move the tower. They hook steel cables with a two-inch diameter by chains to the excavators. The game of push and pull begins. They successfully push it past the halfway mark. As the tower approaches the end of the runway, they pull back to slow its momentum. If they can't stop it quickly enough, the tower will crash over the edge of the runway. Crews hold the chains taut as the tower approaches its destination. Their pulling gradually decelerates MST-40's movement. With only centimeters to spare, MST-40 comes to a halt. That was like you just got 13.2 million pounds off your shoulders. With the tower on site, Mark Luazo and Kevin Klass can now assess the work that must be done to prepare the tower for implosion. <laughs> 